Welcome to Israel, Jeffrey. Thank you, Cheryl. And welcome to the second day of the conference. Thank you. What do you expect to come out of this conference? We just want to be able to show the market that we are out there. We have some very beautiful diamonds and uh, we sell everything on tender and we want to expose our diamonds to the, the greater in Israel industry. And most importantly, if they can't buy our diamonds, they should go and buy our shares. You see Israel as an important center. I see Israel as an important diamond center and a very important financial center in the world. Do you have clients uh, from Israel right now? A lot of our diamonds are bought by the Israelis. How serious are global rough shortages, in your opinion? I certainly believe for our product, our, our product is a niche diamond product. It's, we, we have a lot of plus 10 carats, which translates to 3, 4, 5 carats plus in the polished. I honestly believe that that product there is a world shortage. Uh, the prices continue to increase in, in 10s and 15 percent. Certainly on, on, in the last few years, the larger big diamonds, 50, 60 carat style diamonds in the polished are becoming investment pieces. And there's a greater wealth created in the world, a lot of oil money and uh, a lot of money made on the stock exchanges. And people are happy to put their money into diamonds and leave it in the safe to have a look at or their wife wears it wherever it goes. How do you find working in uh, African producing countries, like even South Africa? We're going through a lot of changes and we're living in a little bit of an unsure uh, circumstances, uh, this environment, and, but we, we, we carry on and we comply with the laws and we are a black empowered company and we do our best. Do you see advantages of going downstream? Because we have this niche market products, we believe that our name has to stick to our diamonds. We don't want to manufacture everything. We, we know what we are able to do within our structures and we will certainly specialize certain products and specialize and polish certain products. So you do, you do your own polishing? We, on a very small scale at the moment, uh, we do have a, a marketing agreement with the Steinmetz Diamond Group for very selected special stones. Uh, what is your annual production or uh, turnover? I think it's the turnover. Well, the annual turnover is about $40 million, 40 to $50 million a year. We do about two to two and a half thousand carats per month. Then our average sales price, well, 2007 was in the region of $1,650 per carat. Your tenders, are they open to anybody really? Or what are your criteria for choosing? Uh, no criteria. Uh, it's, it's subject to the laws of South Africa. We, we're open to anybody. If you have a South African diamond buying license, you're, you're welcome to come over. Do you see a, a relationship between uh, growing between Rockwell and Israel? Would you be able to legally even hold tenders here? We, we would we would seriously consider it. Uh, we believe that our better product, product, which is the 10 carat plus, as the production increases, when the cash flow of the company improves, we'll hold less tenders. Now we hold on average 10 to 11 tenders per year. We'd like to reduce that to about three or four. And certainly Israel would be a target to bring our production to hold the tender.